Hey guys, Simply Betty here. So today's been kind of another long big day. I had to work all day today and then I came home and I had to watch my little girl all night, put her to bed, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then I fell asleep in her room, <laughs> which I always do, putting her to bed. I'm the one who falls asleep and then she falls asleep. But now it's getting kind of late and I realized, shoot, I still need to like do my thing for today. I need to make my daily video for the day. So that's what I'm gonna do. Tonight, I'm gonna be putting on this, uh, this insulative bubble wrap stuff onto my tanks. Basically, uh, I'm gonna be insulating the backs and the bottoms of these 10 gallon tanks um, down here behind me, at least most of them. And the reason for this is so when I heat them, um, two sides are insulated, there's less heat loss, more savings when it comes to the heat department. So basically I'm saving electricity. Now I'm not really sure what the savings are going to amount to, but I just figure that in the long run, it's a good idea to at least have a couple sides insulated. There's gonna be that much less heat loss and I just think there's no losing. So the first thing I do is obviously flip the tank over and then I have something, I have a kind of tape and this is called mounting tape. So what you do, is you just cut off a few little, I cut off a few little pieces of this mounting tape. I don't need very much. So the mounting tape is sticky on one side. All you have to do is I'm gonna stick that onto the painted glass side of my tank. I'm gonna cut four little bits. Okay, I actually cut eight little bits, four on each, four on each uh, painted side. So now I'm gonna go with my nail and peel off um, some film that's on the opposite side of this sticky mounting tape, which I don't know if there's a better way to do this, but I just kind of sit here, I pick at it until, there we go, the film came off, and now the sticky side is exposed. So I'll do that for all eight sides. Now that I peeled that sticky film off and all this tape is sticky now, I'll go ahead and I'll put my, my insulation layer on it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick this down as straight as I can. I only have one shot here before the tape grabs onto it. There we go. Kind of press down for a second, make sure that he got it. So obviously this piece is too big for the sides, but I'm gonna take my handy dandy little X-Acto knife and just cut the edge right here along the side. There. One side. Now I'll flip it over and do the bottom. I'll do the same thing for the bottom of the tank. One tank down. So you can see I have the back, the back and the bottom insulated. Cool. <sighs> okay, putting all the tape on and peeling the peeling off took a while, but now it's on, it's sticky. It's ready for me to put my insulation on. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of doing that. Five insulated 10 gallons there, one right there, um, and those are going to go on this uh, rack right here. I feel pretty good. This was a great step forward. It was very tedious. It took me a while. I'm glad that I got it over with. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I actually accomplished something today that I've been meaning to do for quite a while now. So that's nice, but I need to go goof off. I need to go goof off. I'm going to go do that right now. Have a great day, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.